If you're looking to fix that PO520 error code on that Dodge Caravan or other Chrysler product, replacing this oil sensor is a real common problem. Finding it and replacing it can be a little tricky. So in the video, I'll show you how to find it and we'll talk about the tools on how to get it out of there. Now here's the old sensor, which is different than the new replacement. And there's two specialty tools, one for the new sensor and one for the old. You can see the new sensor has square corners and the old one has round ones. Right here is the specialty tool to get them out. Because the new sensor has square corners, it won't fit, so they want to make you buy a new one. It was starting to get late. We didn't want to go out and buy a new tool, so we just rounded off the corners. We were able to get it to fit, but we had to grind off a little bit of the plastic as well. Now, a standard socket will work. A deep well 27 millimeter or a 1 and 1 16th socket. Both sizes are the same and they both work. This impact socket is thicker. It works, but it's tight. You can see this specialty socket is the same size, but it's thinner. Now you can work from underneath like this. Some people take the entire intake manifold off. Even though it's tight, this is possible. With those thinner specialty tools, it'll help a little easier. Of course, you remember there's two of them. This one's for the rounded edge, not the sharp edge. It's a lot easier to put it in this way than to take off the intake manifold. You just gotta know where the sensor is. That shiny brass hole is where the sensor goes. I'll show you that shiny brass part and then I'll pull away so you can see exactly where it goes. You can see with those hoses, it's really tight. That's why that thinner socket would be nice. Now with everything reinstalled, we check it with an inspection mirror while it's running just to make sure there's no oil leaking out of it. Now that everything's running and the new sensor's put back in, we can go ahead and clear the code and take it out for a drive. So there's no code and everything works. If you're looking to change this oil sensor, hopefully this information has been useful. Now if you've got any comments or any additions, please leave them in the comments below. Well, I really appreciate your time and thanks for watching.